Hey everybody, I'm going to read another book for you guys and it's called I Promise by LeBron James. Who knows who LeBron James is? I didn't know for the longest time because I'm not very sporty. So I wanted to read this. It says, in this book, you'll find encouraging and boasting reminders that success, success starts with you. That's what it said. And it says, inspired by the creation of his I Promise School, in Akron, Ohio, NBA champion and cultural icon LeBron James motivates us to strive for greatness in everything we do. So this is a basketball star and he's using his experience and his celebrity status and the money that he earns for all of his hard work to help other kids. So this is going to be a great book. This will help inspire us and kind of continue on with some of the stuff we talk about, about being kind and bucket filling and all the things that we're learning about to be an ally and to help others and be true to ourselves. So it's called, I Promise. I promise to work hard and do what's right, to be a leader in the game of life. I promise to go to school and work as much as I can, to follow the rules and to respect the game plan. I promise to run full court and show up each time to get right back up and let my magic shine. All of you are so magical. You have all of your own talents and gifts. I promise to be open and try new things and enjoy the happy that change can bring. Sometimes change can be super scary and we all kind of go through it, but sometimes it can bring amazing things. I promise to wear a big smile and use kindness when I speak, to remain strong yet humble with every win and defeat. So here we are talking about being kind again. Does anybody know what humble means? So humble is when you win, you're not like, yeah, I won, losers, you suck. That's not being humble. Being humble is, yeah, we won, good game, we tried really hard. But then also encouraging the other team too. So you're not gloating, that's another good word to learn. I promise to ask for help whenever I need it. To reach for my star, even when I can't see it. Asking for help can be really hard to do sometimes. Even for adults. I promise to ask questions and find answers to believe in next time and second chances. Always ask questions. That's how we learn more. I promise to use my voice and stand up for what's right and when things get tough, to keep up the fight. Right? We always want to stick up for our friends who are struggling and against bullying and fighting for what's right. Sometimes you might only be standing alone, but if it's the right thing to do, you're very brave to do so. I promise to stand tall, rise up, and give all that I've got to throw the alley-oop and uplift others on the spot. Right? You want to cheer everybody on? I promise to respect my elders and peers the same, to leave new places better than I came. So we talked about elders a little bit with some of my friends, right? So those people that are older, if you're ever on a bus and there's an older person or someone with kids that needs to sit down, you scoot your bum, right? You give that up for them out of respect. I promise to stay true, keep my head up and never give up, no matter what. I promise to dream big and love bigger, to be a team player and a winner. I promise to cross bridges and break down walls, to rise with the sun and learn from the falls. Right? When you fall, whether you really fall or metaphorically, right? When you fall and you get back up, you try again, you keep going. And breaking down walls, so those stereotypes and things that are not kind, we break down those walls and we make our lives better for the world around us too. I promise to be courageous, to be free, 
and to strive for greatness. We should always strive for greatness. Right? We will never be perfect. We don't want to be perfect, but we want to progress and each step get us closer to being better. It says, and I love this page, I promise to be me. Right? Miss Jenny might have read Todd Parr's book, Just Be Who You Are. Kind of similar to that. This one's a really neat book because it has this promise at the end. <clears throat> it says, I promise school was inspired by big dreams of kids in my hometown and around the world. This is LeBron talking. And he talks about just how setting goals and being at a school really helped him to overcome a lot of stuff. So he says, I promise to go to school. That's the first battle. To do all my homework, to listen to my teachers, to ask questions and find answers. Always trying your best. Right? As long as you're doing the best that you can, that's all that counts. This is a really great book. I hope you enjoyed it. And just for fun, because somebody just made an appearance, Miss Juicy says hello and hopes you all are having a good day and enjoyed the book. See you guys.